Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Spoiled Amnesia Challenge here. Okay, so in the last two videos, we've been waiting for the parents to come back. They left the very end of two videos ago, and now we've been with the children for a while, but no luck so far. Anyways, can you pee? Please pee. Um... So as you can see, Ichabod here is sleeping. We got a couple people here. Um, Maisie's still running home. I don't even know how close she is, but I think she's like on the road, like coming here right now. And Maria is just doing nothing that she's supposed to be doing. Let's put it that way. Anyways, so Ichabod should be getting up pretty soon, and he is pretty okay. Oh, Maisie, you're getting caught. <laughs> All right, when she gets home, I'm going to make <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to make her pay the bills um and things like that that absolutely need to be done. Maria, you're going to be the next one to take a nap. Mm -hmm. So if Ichabod would get up out of that chair and do what he needs to do. Maria, go ahead and take a nap. That rocking chair is probably going to be the most used item in this whole entire lot. Let's not lie. Alright, she was caught out after curfew. Yeah, that's only because she had to run home. Alright, it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, after that he's going to conjure an apple and I'm having her grab a plate of that. Maisie, um, let's go ahead and get you to pay the bills. You need to eat. Let's get you over here to eat. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Okay, this is just getting weird on my lot. Guard the object. No, I want you to do something else. Go ahead and fill the bowl. I guess there's no food in it. You want to talk to Zeke Little Dog? I would love for you to talk to Zeke Little Dog. Then you can go ahead and talk to him. I don't know how what you had there. I don't think you actually had anything there, so that's fine. Did you finish your second upgrade object? No, but that's okay. Um... It's getting hot and heavy over here. Let's just put it that way. All right, when you're done, I'm going to get you to eat. Grab a plate. I know that's disgusting, but I have nothing else for them to eat right now, except for one little apple. All right, I want you to recycle that newspaper. Recycle that newspaper. I don't know why she just did that. Okay, anyways. The dog's hungry, so let's get him to eat. You're fine. You just need to eat. And you need some fun. Well, we'll figure it out. Alright. Can you do your homework? No. Ad nauseum is the only thing that she has that she can do anything with. They could probably cook these if we had a grilly thing, but we don't have one. So, that's out of the question. Alright. <clears throat> You're using that. That's fine. You're almost done, actually. And I've got you taken care of that. Uh, before you eat, let me go ahead and get you to do your homework. Actually, how bad is your hunger? Oh, not that bad. Alright, go ahead and grab a plate. I could have Maisie grab a plate, but if I do that, she's not going to, um... She's not going to get anything else done. Let's just put it that way. Alright, you want to do something fun? Go ahead and dance. Dance your life away. You got your homework done, I believe. Yes, you did. And <clears throat> you've conjured your apple. So I'm very proud of you, Ichabod. You did really good today. All right. Yeah, I get it. She's still taking care of herself, so we got to wait. But when she's done, I'm sure she'll let you go ahead and take care of yourself. So go there. She's going to be getting up, so you're going to take your nap. And then I'm going to have you do your homework and read. Oh, no, you already read that book. We don't need you to reread it. Oh, wait. Do your homework. No, don't pass out. Oh, jeez. Take a nap. Grab a plate. Do your homework. You'll be good. All right, when you're done with whatever you need to do, <clears throat> which is a lot, let's let you eat and then read. And then you can go ahead and dance. You guys are running out of time, so... Let's get this stuff done. 
Alright, the dog needs some attention, so you're going to give the dog the attention he needs. Feed him a treat, talk to the dog, rub his belly, go ahead and pet him, go ahead and let him sniff your hand. Um, you could brush him, you could play tug of war, you could just do a lot of stuff with the dog to keep him happy. Alright, stop reacting. Alright, you're going to grab a plate, good. Your homework's already done? No. You didn't even do barely any of your homework. So before you do the rest of that, you're going to need to do, do that. Then you can dance. I said don't react to it and you didn't listen to me. You have one hour to finish all of your stuff. So let's get moving. I know it's not the greatest food, but that's all I got for right now, okay? Stop being ridiculous. Alright, what do you need, dog? You need destruction. You need energy again, but you're not getting it for a while, so at exactly five some like five fifty nine, I am going to get you guys out there to do what you need to do. Did you not do your homework again? I am really getting angry with you. You're really ticking me off. And there's no way you're gonna finish that book and do the other thing, so that's fine. Just read your book. Actually, you don't have a certain time you need to do it by. Do your homework. Mm. Please just do your homework. Alright, there's no way you're probably going to get any of this, so... You're probably not going to get to do any of that. Because we're going to be leaving here in just a couple of minutes. When it says 6 o'clock, we're headed out. Okay. So we're headed out to school. <clears throat> which is way over here. How many more days of winter? 23. That's a lot of days. Okay. When you're done playing tug of war with the dog, you go here by running. Maisie, I hope you're ready because you got to go here by running. I'm stopping you from napping because you're going to be too long. And you're going to go here by running. Go. Everyone go. You got two hours to make it <clears throat> before you get sick. All right, Ichabod, how are you doing? Ichabod's still here as well. Maisie's like... Or, Maria's like, I'm on my way. I'm not waiting. Alright. Where are you going, Ichabod? Oh, you're just taking the long way around. Alright, I want you to go over here, dog. Can you dig a hole? No. Not yet. Can't do it there either. Okay. The adults will be returning in two hours. Better make sure the house is clean. The house is not clean. There's a lot of plates everywhere. Alright, get over here, dog. I want you to go ahead and dig a hole. Alright, that's fine. And I'm going to follow Ichabod just because he is the last one. And who's the first one? I believe Maria. So if those two aren't passing out or anything in the near future, then we'll be fine. Probably going to get sick, but that's about it. And he's already gotten sick and she didn't eat, so... She'll be the only one probably stopping for a little while anyways. But she's a lot farther than everyone, I do believe. Today's a snow day. Are you kidding me? All right. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. You guys haven't got to go to school now. This is what I've been waiting for because wouldn't it be so much easier if there was a snow day every day? Stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. All right. So you want to play the guitar. So you know what? We're going to send you over here instead. And since it's a snow day, we can really work on what we need to work on. So you go here by running. Ichabod, you want to learn the alchemy skill? Well, you're going to do that. We're going to take you over here to the elixir shop. And you're going to go here by running. That's a long run. And you want to learn the science, or take a class in the science skill. Where do you take that? Over here? At the science station? That would make sense to me. Um, yep, it is. Okay. So I'm going to send you over here. I think you go in on this side. So go here by running. And you guys should be good. Okay. Ichabod's going, she's going, and she's going. Alright, she's going to be getting sick. So I'm probably going to stick with her. Just because I want to make sure she gets there. Alright. So that means that we have plenty of time to get stuff done today. Because... They're not that exhausted. I mean, I should have kept them at home now just because they could have gotten more sleep, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I know you're going to get sick. Just 
do it. Just do it already. Yeah, she's on her way that way. That's good. All right, let's get you back over here. Pause for just a second. I'm just going to make you go here because it's just going to be easier to than go, trying to get all the way inside. And to be honest, I'm going to stick up in the map view so, whoops, so I can watch everyone go. So let's see. Dog, you're fine. You're destroying that. You're going to the alchemy station. I think she might get to her destination first. Just because their destinations, well, hers is way over here and his is way over here. So I think we're going to see her get there first, but we'll see. Uh, why did you stop? She has no idea. She's like, I don't know. I just feel like stopping. Feel like stopping in the radio. No, I want you to run there. It would take you forever to walk there. So go ahead. I should really get people jogging around town because that would be beneficial. It would help with our athletic and all that, but that's okay. All right, Zeke, you got the non-destructive trait or the destructive. I hope it didn't say destructive because I would be upset with myself. Yes, it's destructive just because we don't have stinking toys for you to chew. All right. I think you're there, close enough anyways, where you can attend the science class because it's something you want to do. You want to take a class in science skill. So go ahead and take that. I'm going to watch these two. Just so I know that you guys get here. Oh, look at everyone's here. Susie and Mason and Mercedes and Brayden and Mathis. All right. We don't need to meet up. We're fine where we are. All right. Okay, you can't X that out? I guess not. So I guess we have to deduct five more dollars. Oh, family, funds, one, three, one, five. Uh, oh, <laughs> family, funds. I was like, why didn't it work? Sack home. One, three, one, five. Enter. Okay, there we go. So that's better because she's not going to get out of that car, and I tried. She's energized. Electricity is like sweet, sweet nectar. Okay, so you want to get pumped. You want to throw another party. You want to read a book about charisma. What do you want to do? You want to learn a new re um, elixir recipe. You want to throw a party. You want to train someone. Well, then, if you want to learn an elixir recipe, I'm going to send you to the same place that um, Ichabod is going. So go here by running. You want to do what again? <coughs> you want to learn a new recipe. You want to get pumped and read a book about charisma. Well, you know what? We'll send you to the library first. Now that we've got that bookshelf in there, we can actually read the book. So you go here by running. Mercedes, what do you want to do? Win a ranked chess match. Grow a flame fruit bush. Grow gla garlic plant. Alright. Now, now it says she's stopping. Alright. Mason, you want to invite a sim over. Brayden, you want to get pumped. Work out until fatigue. Train someone. Well, it sounds like you're going to the... Over here. Let's see. Down and down and down. Alright. Go here by running. I like that when they come back, they're actually all energized. You want to buy a logic book. Win a ranked chess match. Buy a telescope. Oh, man. All right. Well, you know what? We can have you. No, I want you to go here by running. And Mercedes, you want to buy that? Okay. You also want to win a ranked chess match. So I want you to go here by running as well. I really wish you wouldn't go home. So I have everyone going someplace, correct? I believe so. She's the only one who's just up, totally upset with herself. And I also need to get them to conjure their apples for right now. Let's keep watching people run because I want to make sure people are getting places that they absolutely need to be. She's headed over here to the fire station and he is headed here so uh, I think she might get to her destination first. Can we get her to stop riding in that? That'd be nice but we can't. It's fine. Are you guys moving? Where are you guys? Hold on. Where are they? They're over here. Shows they're over here. There's really far over there. Okay. All right. Where are you at? It looks like you're pretty much here. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go upstairs and play the guitar. All right. Go ahead and play alone. 
Ichabod, I think you're there. She's in the class. He's on his way. On the way, on the way. She's going home, but then she's going to police out, so it was kind of pointless to go all the way home. The only ones that are really upset are the children, so that's fine. You want to learn the alchemy skill. Well, get over here and research alchemy then. You're still way over there. You're still way over there. She's over there. You're over there. <laughs> You're over there. Everyone's just over there. Over there. Over square. Alright, since you're too tired, you're going to be the one to take the nap on the <coughs> the lot. Alright, you're playing the guitar, which you're happy about. Because you got that actually done now. Um, you want to perform a stunt show for tips. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I gave me a heart attack. Okay, you want to perform the stunt show for tips. I don't believe we have that in our town. Um, I could be wrong. But what is it normally on? It's normal and Moonlit Falls is normally on the festival lot and I didn't add that festival here. So, I don't really know. I don't think it's here. Um, I could try and add it in. Let me go into let me save now that everyone's back, and I'll just be back in just a second. Be right back. All right, so I got that added in. I just had to add in a change a lot up that was just an empty lot. had no house on it or anything. So that's what I did. <clears throat> All right, Maria's on her way over there because she was the one who wanted to do that. So I have her handed on over to get that taken care of. There are a couple of people. He's got a different moodlet, as you can see. He had a great trip, time away from home without any children. Could anything be more relaxing? So, like I said, she had the energized. He's got the uh, great trip. She has the relaxed. Sims love the rhythmic pounding of well-trained hands and the overly tense muscles of the body. So relaxing. He has the tranquil, nothing can stress or anger Sims who have reached their happy place. And he has also the relaxed. So that's good. He wants to learn the handiness skill. You want a pillow fight with Buck Green. I don't even know who that is, but we could definitely try. All right, he wants to learn a new elixir recipe. So let's get you in here to research because that's how you're going to learn that. And looking at ages, uh, Mason is maxed out. He's actually five days over. She's 12 days over. She's... <coughs> <coughs> This is actually her last day. That's promised. He is five days over. Um, and he's got 19 days until he's an adult. So we have plenty of time for everyone. But it's definitely going to take some time to get everyone to where they want to be. Now we really got to push on probably more on Mathis about a significant other. Um, he doesn't really know anyone here in town. I mean, he does, but he doesn't. So... That's something we may have to push on just a little bit more as well. All right, speaking of, let's see, where are you at? Where did I send you? I think I sent you to the library to read the charisma book. So let's go ahead and get you to do that because she did want to read a book about charisma. So go ahead and read that. You can read volume three. What? Are you crazy? All right. Um, he's there. She's still running. He's at the gym. He pretty much wants everything to do with this crazy stuff. Um, I was wondering if he was here, but I don't see him here, so, well, maybe that's him. Nope. All right, you want to feel pumped, you want to work out until you're fatigued, and you want to train someone. Well, first off, let's go ahead and let you do a cardio workout and just um, go ahead and do a quick burst. That way it's easier. And then we'll let you go ahead and train um, DeAndre. You're not there yet. He's sleeping. I'm going to go with her because I believe she's there. She wants to perform a stunt show for tips. So I don't know how she's going to do this when she doesn't have a broom. I have no idea. All right, so she took her class. I think she's going to have to buy a broom to do this. I don't really know. You want to buy a book on Hanius and you want to upgrade five objects. Well, we were upgrading here at the pool, and it was going actually pretty well. So let's go ahead and get you down here to do that. So run on over here. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with you with you yet, Maria, because I don't believe you can do this until you're, um, you have a broom in your inventory. Hello? So, I don't know. What does that say? Jeffrey's out at the moment. Okay. All right. She's going to read that book. Doesn't say she actually has to learn anything from it. She's just got to read it. You want to learn a new elixir. So why are you not researching? I don't know. No idea. All right. You're still on the run. You're working out. All right. You're there, it looks like. And I don't even remember where I sent you. I believe I sent you to the park. And what I want you to do... Whoops. Go back to you. What I want you to do is go ahead and call up your next ranked opponent. You're still sleeping, which is fine. There's a butterfly there. All right. She's the only one on the run, and she's coming here as well. Galaball. Sure I do. <coughs> All right. So let's get you over here to sit in this chair and wait. Because when it says, when it comes up, please tell me that you can do this. It says the snow is too deep. Are you kidding me? Is there another place that we can invite this person out to? Because it's going to be a waste of my time if you can't do it here. All right, what else do you want to do? You want to buy a logic book, throw a party, invite a sim over, and train someone. Well, you know what? We're going to send you down here then to the gym. And you're going to go ahead and train someone just like you want to. So go here, run, that'll be good. Ichabod, it's about time that you get up, so let's go ahead and get you over here to research alchemy. Um, Susie, you're doing probably what you're supposed to be doing anyways. Mason, you're on your way. Mercedes, you should be on your way. Actually, you're here. The only bad thing is you guys can't play here, so this is a waste of time. All right, you want to win a ranked chess match. Which means we got to find some place where you can go where there's a chess table inside. I don't believe the salon has one, but maybe the fire station? That's my next thought. I go to the fire station for a lot of things. When I need a skill and I can't get it done somewhere else, I go there. Alright, run here. You're going to run here because you can't play there with that person. So let's go ahead and get you guys going. You're going to be waking up. Maria, I don't really have anything for you to do right now. You're on the run. Zeke, you need to just sleep. Where are you at, dog? <coughs> I think you're still on that lot because you were you were taking care of some stuff. All right, go ahead and sleep here. At least you won't be in the snow sleeping, but it's not the best either. All right, you want to learn the alchemy, and you want to transform into a werewolf. That's pretty easy. All right. So you got that done. So werewolf, transform into your werewolf form. Alright, you trained DeAndre. That's good. And Mercedes decided to enjoy the great outdoors. That's fine. Alright. You've grasped the basics of alchemy, which is great. That means that he's also learned his little skill. Okay. You want to buy a cane. You just have some of the weirdest things you want to do. Okay. You want to get pumped. Well, you're, you're fatigued right now. So let's get you over there to... Actually, do you know this Buck Green? Because if you do, you can invite him over. That's DeAndre. Uh, Buck Green. Um, I don't believe you know this person. Yeah, you do. Right here. Wow, he is disliked. He's your boss. Invite him out. We're going to invite him over to here, and we're going to try and get him to come <coughs> over so you can pillow fight with him since you want to. Who's that? Silver Racket. All right. No, I'm not interested right now. Well, then, you know what? Screw yourself. Um, We're going to take you over here to the alchemy place just because you're going to go here and... You're going to learn the alchemy skill like you want to. So Ichabod learned his first elixir. You have a lot of people that you dislike. Let's just put it that way. Um, which was the Vial of Bliss. 
Susie, you're still reading that. You want to invite a sim over? Well, you know what? Let's stop you because you want to get pumped. So let's go over there and get you pumped. Um, it's probably going to have to do good pacing. That's the only way I think you're going to be able to do that. Mason, you're on your way here. You are on your way over. Let's go ahead and get you to invite, all right, call a sim, invite over your next ranked chess opponent. <clears throat> Mathis, do you need anything? Not right now. I want a biological, buy a telescope, and learn the handiness scale. Um, yes. Um, you want to learn the handiness skill. I was gonna, <coughs> I should have had you do that instead, but that's okay. Um, Ichabod, you want to create an elixir? Then let's go ahead and do that before he gets over here. Can you send Mathis a text? texting text him a friendly text and then go ahead and mix an elixir what's this one improve your driving skill um sure practice a skill until your sim games level okay that's totally different mix an elixir it looks like you need to pee so go ahead and do that one and then you need to pee, so you can use that. Maria, you're not doing anything. Maisie, what are you up to? You want to improve your writing skill. But you know what? I want you to go ahead and use and shower, and then I want you to upgrade that. You want to improve your handiness skill. Well, you know what? We could get you to do that. Uh, we could have you read the book, or we could have you... Yeah, let's have you go and read the book at the library. <clears throat> All right, let's see. These guys are getting pretty easy uh, requests today, so I can actually do them. Though it does help that everyone is in a pretty good mood right now, so. Alright, Brayden will come, Brayden's carpool is coming in an hour, and so is Susie's. Are you serious? No. You're pulling my chain. Alright, you want to get pumped, so let's get you to work out, and I want you to do good pacing, because I don't want you to push yourself too hard. You also, oh, you want to train someone. You didn't want to work out yourself. You just want to train someone. So you know what? Let's train Marigold. That way you get that done. Is your person here yet? Let's see. All right. Challenge Jenny to the game. <clears throat> Brayden, you're on your way. Mathis, you're just going to have to wait five seconds. How about you go here for just a second so that you get out of the way? Ichabod, you're taking care of yourself. Maria, you're on the run. And... Sounds horrible that she's on the run. All right, you're using that. All right, so Jenny's coming, Susie. Or Mercedes. Sorry about calling you Susie. All right, so Mason just trained Marigold, which is what he wanted to do. And Susie is up to the athletic skill level six. That's great. All right, so keep working on that. You want to socialize with a werewolf. Is there a werewolf where you are? That's the next big thing. <coughs> Let's see. Are any of you guys werewolves? You don't look to be a werewolf to me. Are any of you werewolves? Obviously Susie's not. Are you a werewolf? Hold on, let's see. DeAndre? No. Who's this? Silver Racket. That's Marigold. Who's this? Max? Max Racket. Alright, I don't think any of you guys are. You're a tourist. Well... I think even if you chat with him maybe on the phone, maybe it'll work. So let's try that. You're going to play with her. Where did you go? Oh, yeah. You wanted to um, learn the alchemy skill. So let's get you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're still mixing that? Okay. Well, that's fine. You can go ahead and just go here for a second. And we'll let you just hold on for just a second. I should have gotten you to take a shower, to be honest. That's really what I should have gotten him to do. Just because um, he's really stinky after working out, but that's okay. Alright. She has to win that ranked chess match, though. That's the only bad thing. Alright, chat with him. You keep working on that. Alright, the carpool from Maria will come in an hour, and Ichabod. Seriously? It's Friday. Oh, yeah, they still have to work, don't they? 
All right, Ichabod, you do that, and then we're going to get you to take care of that. All right, Mercedes, how are you doing? Because, you know, he is waiting on you. I think you're maxed out in logic, so you should win. Yeah, you're maxed out. Ichabod just wasn't successful and couldn't create the vial of bliss. All right. Let's get you over here. You want to learn the alchemy skill. We'll go ahead and research. Jumping back over to her just because I want to make sure she gets this done. I think she won. Maybe not. She's feeling bookish. Okay. Ichabod, you got to go to work in two hours. Maria, you got to go to work in two hours. So I'm going to send you guys over to work. Which, you're actually right next door, so that's perfect. Alright, so let's get you to go here by running. And Ichabod, you need to go here by running. And Maisie, what are you doing? <laughs> She's forgot. She can't remember. Alright, let's go ahead and get you. She's too tired to do that right now. I already had someone nap on a lot, so I can't get her to do that. But I could send her all the way home. But that'd be kind of idiotic. Um, if she wants to improve her writing skill, I believe she goes to this building right here. And you could take the writing class. Actually, I gotta get you to go here first. So let's get you to go here by running. No, not walking. Running. And then we'll get you to do that. You're doing good pacing, which is good, because you definitely need to do that. <clears throat> That's something that you absolutely needed to do. Mason, did that work? No. Who else is a werewolf that you know, besides Max Racket? You could try and invite him out. Oh no, he's not, he's a vampire. Oh jeez. Um, let's jump over to Brayden. Brayden is a werewolf, so I don't know why you can't just talk with him, but okay. Um, so let's get you to go here by running. That should get you taken care of. I really hope that you get this done. Brayden's learned the alchemy skill. So that's good too. Alright. She's defeated her ranked opponent. Alright, get up. You also want to buy a cane. Mathis, let's get you to invite over your ranked opponent. Alright, call Sim, invite over ranked opponent. What else do you want to do? Nothing really. So what I'm going to do... Where are we going to have everyone go for the night so they can shower? Maybe over here because there's a TV and stuff. And the only thing that bothers me is a dog. But the dog only needs destruction. He doesn't really need social. He's actually pretty okay. So for right now, I'm just going to go let you sit on the couch and do nothing. Because I don't really have anything else that I can do for you right at this moment. You're, you're just All right. Do. When you're done, sit in the chair. You're doing good That's pacing. Right. You're headed over there. Yes, I want to invite her over. I'm too busy. Try calling back in six hours. Jeez. All right, you want to learn the handiness skill. You want to buy a logic book by to. Ugh. You don't have anything really that great. Handiness. What is your handiness on? You don't have a handiness. I think if I click tinker on one of these, um, well, maybe not. I thought you could tinker with them. I don't really know. Who's that? That's Jenny. Um, Alright, you want to learn the handiness skill? I'm going to take you out to learn the handiness skill. Where's that library? <laughs> I use this library for a lot of things now. Just because I have the books here now, finally. You don't need to set. Never mind that. Alright, Mason, I'm coming with you. You're fine. Where are you at? Please tell me you did not take a car here, because I would be very upset with you. Um, you go ahead and work. I don't think you guys did, because I think you guys would have been here by now. All right, so you go ahead and work. You're running somewhere. All right, go ahead, guys. <coughs> that way I get you guys in there, get you guys taken care of. All right, he's learned his first elixir recipe, which is great. And it's the Vial of Bliss. Everyone pretty much learns that one first. 
I don't know if there's a certain way. You want to buy a dog ball. We could definitely buy a dog ball. That would be a good one. All right, Mason should be on his way over here pretty soon. So what I'm going to let you do is go ahead and use and just wash your hands a couple times. I don't know how close he is, but I'm pretty sure he's probably close. Because these guys run really fast compared to everyone else. All right, you're doing that. You're running. You're working. You're working hard. Can you work hard? That'd be great if you could. To work up that mess up of a job that you've made now. Which, it should be helping at least. Alright, Maria's... Oh, that's not what I meant. Mason is who I wanted to go with, but okay. Um, you want to socialize with a werewolf. Alright, Brayden. Don't worry about that. Let's get you to chat with him. Friendly and... Ask about his day. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Alright, he's feeling bookish. Alright. I just want to make sure that they're going to do this. Did that work? It should have. You guys are talking. You want to send a text to this person? We could try. I don't know if we know them, but we could try. Is this it? Uh, yeah. Uh, all you can send her is a love letter. So... Maybe introduce yourself to her. Where's she at? I think she's here. Maybe she's at the other place? I don't think so. That's Wong Chang. I don't know. Is this person like invisible or something? Probably. She's probably invisible. Alright, what do you want to do? You want to buy a book about logic, send her a text, invite a symbol, or throw a party. If I can't send her a text, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but okay. Um, so that means you're done. Can you get this guy to come out and visit you now? Why don't you go ahead and invite him out? See if that works. Jumping over to Mathis because he's at the library finally. Um, I don't know why. It, I don't want it like this. Zoom out. I want you to invite him here. Mathis, coming over with you. You want to learn the handiness skills. Go ahead and read handiness. Call back in four hours. You would say something like that, wouldn't you? Alright, so read it just until it improves. Susie, how are you doing? You want to acquire an elixir, which means we would have to make one with you. Speaking of, what have you guys got in your inventories? She's got some seeds. He's got stuff to make alchemy stuff. Um, he's got all this stuff. Bladder flow, mood enhancer. Alright, you're working hard. You're working hard. That should be working on your guys' stuff. Where are you at? Are you at the library as well? No. You wanted to learn the writing skills. So attend the writing class. Mason, um, to be honest, guys, I can't do this one, I don't think, because this person probably is going to leave. And she lives in China. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Unless she's over at the gym. Let me just check. Because that's where he did just come from. So I could see it coming from there. Who's this? No, that's not her. That's not her. That's not her. Who's that person? I think that's Ratchet. Nope, that's Shark. Well, she's not here. And finding her would just be... <coughs> would be horrendous. If she was in this town, I would do it, but I can't do it. So create five elixirs we can definitely do. Normally I wouldn't cancel it out, like I said, but... Um, let's go ahead and mix five elixirs. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Breeden... I don't know what you're going to do. You know what? I think you clogged this toilet. So let's get you to unclog it and mop up that puddle because you did do that. So you probably should unclog it at least. Oh, look at you having to wait because of the sky. Try and do a charming introduction and get him off of there. And then one, two, three, four, five. All right. That's fine. 
Susie's still working on that. Mercedes, I have nothing for you to do. I really should send you home to take care of the dog. So let me go ahead and have you run on home. And I'm about five minutes from having to end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everyone up to do something. So you're going to go here by running. You're working on that. You're working on that. You're working on that. You're reading that. You're working. You're at work. You're working on your writings class. And you're sleeping. But when you get up, let's go ahead and get you to eat. All right. So that should be good. All right. So let me go ahead and tally up the points. And I'll be back in just one second. All right. So I went ahead and calculated everything up. And I am proud to say we did pretty well. So Mathis came back at the middle of this, I would say, episode of this, and he didn't actually complete anything, but he's well on his way to completing something, so in the next one, we at least know he'll be getting 750 points, so it's pretty good. Ichabod, on the other hand, got 711 points to end up at 24,510, so he did pretty good. Um, Maria here got 150 points and ended up with 17,324. Uh, Maisie got 650 points to end up with 20,897 points, which makes our total for this episode 1,511, and our overall total is 15,410, which means, guys, we can buy something else. So what do we want to get? Do we want to get a bed? Do we want to get a refrigerator? Um, whatever the first thing that comes up that someone wants to buy is what we're going to get. So you want to buy a logic book. I'm not going to do logic books. Um, I think what I'll do is we can buy one buy item a, a episode. Well, every 5,000 and one book. So we'll have him buy a book um, in the next one. She wants to buy a chemistry lab table. That is the first thing. Or cane. I really wanted to do the refrigerator, but I don't know if anyone even has that. Um, no one even has that wish. So we could get rid of a couple people's wishes if we bought the cane, but what is it really going to benefit us? So I'm going to go ahead and buy the chemistry lab table. And the hard part is going to be finding a place for it. So I'm going to put this like this. And I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to, you know what, I think they can use that where it is. And I'm going to put the lab chemistry table right here. So let's see. Actually, let's do it like this. And then let's put the, chem the chemistry lab table over here. All right, it's $1,000. I know that. And I know we've got plenty. No, we don't have enough money for that. Oh no, so we have to buy a cane? Seriously? That's the next thing, because the only other thing she wanted to buy was a cane. Oh god. What does a cane then benefit us? <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Well, we have to buy a cane then, I guess. <laughs> this seems really ridiculous. Um, alright. Here's our cane. We're probably going to have to put it inside, to be honest with you. So, let's see. Move some of this stuff around first. Move some of this stuff around. Alright, so that's what we got to buy today. She wants to buy a bunk bed. Brayden wants to buy a dryer. Oh, God. What is wrong with you people? Okay. And then, since Mason wants to buy a logic book... Um... I'm just going to make a note of it so that I can make sure I get it next time. So let me just say, I'm going to put in stars, um, need to buy logic book. So every 5,000, if they want to buy a book, they can do that. And um, they can also buy one buy item for the house. So we've got a cane for our house. So let's go ahead and give it to Mercedes. She's the one who wanted it. Go view the house. <clears throat> and we'll give her the cane since she wanted it so bad. I mean, Brayden wanted one too, but we bought it because it was in her thing. If we were in his, we had to choose between a dog ball or a dryer. So 
it's not any better. I wish we had gotten the chemistry lab. We could have really had someone work hard on learning it, and um, we could have gotten them to learn how to do the sleeping elixir where they'd sleep a lot faster, but that's okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. This is where I'm going to end this episode, and if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.